rockets can get so loud that the sound waves alone could knock down a nearby building. How do you plan for something like that? Hello friends, Amy and Trace here for DNews. Just because we can't see sound doesn't mean it's not something physical. It is, and the loudest sounds ever created, like the sound of a rocket launching, can be powerful and damaging. Sound needs to travel through something, like air. We can hear sound because it vibrates the air molecules as it travels. But that also means that the air has to move out of the way for sound to travel, and this creates a pressure wave. The pressure wave is linked to the intensity of a sound. It's measured in decibels, and as the intensity of a sound wave increases, so does the wave's pressure. Sound is mechanical, so the waves are moving the air to make higher and lower densities of air molecules. Essentially, an explosion pushes the air out of the way, vibrating it at a high frequency with a lot of mechanical energy. Now think of rockets. They're generating so much sound that the decibel levels are huge. A typical conversation registers at about 65 decibels, and things can't get much louder before we start to damage our hearing. Sounds between 90 and 95 decibels, like a subway train 200 feet away from you, is the level where you start to have hearing loss from sustained exposure. A loud rock concert, which could cause actual hearing damage, is around 115 decibels. That's louder than a motorcycle or a power saw. Physical pain starts at around 125 decibels. Think standing a few feet away from a pneumatic riveter. Ouch. Anything above 140 decibels, like a jet engine roaring 100 feet away from you, can cause irreversible damage to the tissues in your ear in a very short time. One of the highest sound power levels ever recorded was in the 1960s when NASA was testing the super cool awesome first stage of the Saturn V rocket. This stage used five engines to generate 7.5 million pounds of thrust, and one test registered about 204 decibels. Modern rockets are a little quieter, coming in at about 195 decibels. I went to see that last shuttle launch, TS-135, and even on the other side of the lagoon from the launch pad, the sound was really loud, though it took a little while to get to me, which was really cool. Sound doesn't just threaten our hearing. The energy stored in sound can create strong enough pressure waves that can damage physical structures, including the rocket that's making the sound. It doesn't seem like a good idea. No. The sound waves from a rocket launching are typically in the low to mid frequency range. This creates harmonics that can vibrate and travel back up toward the rocket, shaking and possibly breaking it. Since NASA knows that's not a good idea, they take steps to protect their rockets. Buildings are constructed far from the launch site, scale models are made to determine how much sound will be produced, and and they test all of that before they build a full-sized one. And NASA just did that for the SLS, the new heavy lift rocket. Their 5% scale model had more than 200 sensors on it to capture the acoustics. From there, they can extrapolate how loud the full-sized, massive machine will be. The little one's so cute. I kind of want one. Since you can't hit mute on a rocket engine, NASA dumps water into a pool below the rocket, and the steam you see coming out of the sides is the heat of the engine evaporating that pool of water. It's also a sound suppression system. For a typical shuttle launch, 300,000 gallons of water were released from a nearby tank underneath the rocket right at the moment of main engine ignition. Reaching a peak flow rate of 900,000 gallons per minute, the water absorbed the acoustic energy of the launch, lowering the sound to about 142 decibels. That's just under the 145 decibel mark, where the orbiter's payload bay would be damaged. Those NASA guys are super smart. I have a pool though, you know, like you do cannonballs. What if we did like a rocket launch into a pool? What would that look like, I wonder? Invent it. Yeah, let's try it. Have you guys ever heard a rocket launch? Would you have thought to bring earplugs? I wouldn't have thought that, but maybe you did. Let us know down in the comments and make sure that you subscribe for more D News every day of the week. Amy, where can people find you if they want to know more about space? You can find me on Twitter as AST Vintage Space. Thanks, see ya.